Now, first alert weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Some pretty good, good advice there. I saw myself in that report. Uh, hey, um, still pretty chilly outside, but uh, love that sunshine today. Yeah, and the good news about going forward is it warms up. So to take advantage of the snow, skiing, snowmobiling, whatever it is, it'll be easier. Yeah, it looks to like do a it. good week. Yeah, and uh, we might even have some more snow coming up this weekend. So we'll take a look. This is a time lapse here over the Osable River in Osable Forks. The camera is there right along. Route 9N, and you can see that the water's flowing, so there's not a ton of ice there. Uh, one of the good things about how mild it was a couple weeks ago was that we had less ice than usual, so we didn't really have too much of an ice jam issue when it warmed up. But now the ice has been forming with the cold nights we've had. This is a time lapse from Jericho, right at sunrise, some clouds over Mount Mansfield, and then look, just total blue for the rest of the day. Whoop, there's one cloud. But, I mean, other than that, it was a beautiful Monday. And this is the sunset picture from the Hayes Cam over Burlington, where the temperature is 15 with a clear sky and not much wind. The numbers are going way down tonight. I think most of us will be below zero. So it's cold, but we do have milder stuff not far out. We'll take a look here in, in just a second. Right now it's 9 in Saranac Lake, 9 in Newport. Montreal is at 10. We have a 20 on the map. That's in Lebanon, also in Keene. But either way, it was below average today. And the trend overnight shows us getting so close to zero. I think the sub-zero stuff will be most noticed at about sunrise, 6 or 7 tomorrow morning. And it will be a pretty bright start to tomorrow, but clouds come in in the afternoon. There might be a snow shower or a flurry later tomorrow, but that's it. We're not really talking about much. And then look at this Wednesday. The sun comes back in force. Another pretty near full sunshine day on Wednesday, even on Thursday. So let's take a look at the numbers for tomorrow morning, basically between zero and 10 below. The only area just barely in the positive territory, Bennington and Brattleboro, but by a hair. And then highs tomorrow, 17 in Saranac Lake, 18 in Plattsburgh. Very similar, but there will be more clouds in the afternoon, so not feeling quite as nice, perhaps. 17 the high in Stowe, 15 in Lindenville. So snowmaking still ongoing at the ski resorts with all this cold weather 22 in Springfield. Here's the five day after more clouds tomorrow. We have sunshine that returns for Wednesday and Thursday and look at the highs 32 on Wednesday 36 on Thursday. That's actually above average five to 10 degrees above average at the end of the week. And then there's a weekend system that we're watching. It probably brings some snow on Sunday but the track of it is very uncertain at this point. So stay tuned to that part of the forecast and we will have updates, Stu. Above freezing this.